welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a brand new video. So for today's video, I'm doing the long awaited mac and cheese recipe video. Every time I make my mac and cheese, I post on my Instagram story and I get so many questions asking how I'm making it. I think you're actually all gonna be shocked at how easy it is because I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you, but it's not homemade. Well, it's not, I make it, but it's not homemade. But mac and cheese is literally my favorite food ever. If it's on the menu anywhere, I will try it and judge it and just think it's not as good as mine. But I actually can't believe the amount of questions I have when I make it. So that is what I'm gonna be doing today. I am starving. It is quarter past six, which is quite early for me to be having dinner, but I had an early breakfast. I had breakfast at like half 10 today, which is early for me. Usually I don't have it till 12. And I'm also home alone today, so I thought we could make dinner together. Might make me feel less lonely. So I'm just gonna get straight into it. So if you do enjoy this video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hopefully this answers all of your mac and cheese questions if you are wondering. Let's get into the video. So I'm just gonna tell you what you need first. Oh shoot. So first, the most important part, macaroni. Now I don't know if it's just me, but I can't just have any shaped pasta. Like I would not have this pasta if I was making mac and cheese, like this curly pasta. It has to be macaroni for me. Otherwise it's not mac and cheese. Like it doesn't taste the same. Is that just me? This is gonna be very controversial. So I literally just use these packets of cheese sauce. They're like powdered and you add milk to them. I did make my own. Like the first time I ever made mac and cheese, I made it from scratch, but it took so long. And I'm not gonna lie, these actually taste better. I just get these from like Asda. You can get them from anywhere, to be honest. Just any cheddar cheese sauce mix. It doesn't have to be this brand. I use this one and there's one in like a blue packet as well. Oh, I've got, I've got more. <laughs> so I'm just going between these two. I feel like they just taste the exact same. So we've got the Coleman's for, no, can't read. Coleman's full of flavour cheddar cheese sauce or Schwartz cheddar cheese sauce. Just use any. So I'm going to use the blue one today. If I sound like a man, by the way, it's because I'm ill. Please ignore. So next we'll need some chilli powder. Any chilli powder. I'll go between this one and then this one. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to use this one. And then garlic powder. These are literally the secret ingredients to literally take your mac and cheese from like basic to elite. Chili powder and garlic. I put this in everything as well. Any sort of pasta. Use like a tomato sauce, but then chili, garlic always has to be involved as well. Actually, let me just heat up the oven because I'm gonna be having garlic bread as well. I'm gonna treat myself. I'm here alone. I'm having garlic bread. And then we go to the fridge. We get some milk and we get some cheese. And then you'll need a jug. This jug, I think this jug's American though, because look how it spells later on there. That's how it spells later on the jug, so I think that's American. And then you'll need one of these trays like a glass tray because we bake it at the end to make all the cheese melt and then a big saucepan as well so that's all the ingredients that you need for mac and cheese guys it's so easy you're actually gonna be shocked and be like wow you really didn't tell us for this long it's not that i didn't tell you i just haven't had time to sit and film this video so first we're gonna add the cheese sauces to the saucepan and heat the oven up i don't know how, if there's a good way to show you how i'm doing this so i'm just gonna pour in both of these Oh my god, look at me thinking I'm a cooking channel. Definitely not. I definitely can't cook. This is as far as my skills go. And it is only me eating this, but I literally make this. There's enough for me today. Usually Oak has some as well. And then usually there's enough left for us both to have it the next day as well. But I will be eating this for the next week. So we pour them in. By the way, I'm not any professional cook, so don't judge the state of my work area. It's going to get dirty, but it's fine. 300 mils of milk for each packet, so I'm gonna put 600 mils of milk into there. How is everyone, guys? You know what? I've finally booked a holiday. I've been speaking about going on holiday for so long and it was just time. So I'm so glad we finally booked one. So 600 mils of milk, pour it in there and basically just stir it until it's all hot and mixed together. It says to do it bit by bit, but I literally just throw it in and stir and hope for the best. You know what I hate though? I hate having an electric oven because I always burn it. Having a gas one, oh, that's the wrong one, no. Having a gas one just makes life so much easier. Now I've got to holiday. I'm going away with Oak's family. Uh, the 4th of June we're going, no, that's a lie. 4th of July, we're going to Turkey and it's gonna be so hot. We're going for 12 nights, you know why? We was originally gonna do 10, but when we actually like booked it, looked into it, it worked out 20 pound cheaper to go for two extra night. How does that even make sense? But we're going all inclusive as well, which I think is such a good way, especially for 12 nights as well. I think even just you drinks, having all inclusive just makes it worth it for just the drinks, even if you don't eat the food, because I'm so fussy. But I went to Turkey when I was, what? The year that I left school, 2016. Six years ago now was the last time I went to Turkey. Oh, I'm just so excited to be in the sun for 12 days. 
<laughs> I'm literally counting down the days. That's a lie, I'm not. I don't know how many days it is, but the 4th of July. Me and Luke have never been on just like, I don't want to say normal, but you know how we've been to like Dubai, we've been to Florida, it's like extra holidays. We've never been to just like a chill, all inclusive, no plans, just do whatever you want for five days holiday, which I'm really looking forward to because Florida was hectic. We was at Disney every day pretty much. I'm just excited to just chill and do nothing for 12 days because Oak's got his brother and his dad to play in the pool with. I'm not going to be involved in that activity. Me and Oak's mum just going to be chilling getting burnt for 12 days straight. I can't wait. This kind of looks a bit gross, but I'm literally just gonna keep stirring it until it gets a bit thicker. I know I said I was gonna look back when it's done, but I keep getting these random texts. I'm not gonna include the phone number because I don't know who it is. But I don't know who this person is, I've just turned this off. How do I get an electric oven back on, guys, help me. I'm just hiding the phone numbers, but I've had all these texts and I'm like, I do not know who you are. Don't know who Stephen is, don't know who Law Chris is, don't know who Michael is. Do I text back and say you've got the wrong number or do I just keep ignoring it? Right, so now that that is done, we're basically just gonna add in a load of cheese. Right, so we're gonna add in probably about half of this bag. We're just gonna pour the cheese in. Do you wanna see this? Pour in a load of cheese. The cheesier the better for me, to be honest. There we go. So we put in loads, we're just gonna stir it until it all melts, basically. You can judge it, it should go quite stringy. Oh fuck, I've just realised I ain't cooked the pasta. I'm a fucking idiot. Oh my god. You know what it is, filming? It's throwing me off. So you're supposed to cook the pasta first. Wow. I'm literally just gonna have to turn that all the way down. I can't believe we've just done that. No! I usually don't start the sauce until the pasta's nearly done. But um, we're just gonna keep going with it and we're just gonna have it on a low heat until the pasta's done. The pasta takes about 15 minutes, which is a bit long. It has 11 to 13 minutes, but that's definitely a lie. Pretend that the pasta's done, but this is what it should look like. It's more like stringy. Kettle has boiled. <laughs> right, we're gonna put the pasta in. And I've just spilled water everywhere. Oh my God, this. Why is any time I wanna film something, why is it so hectic and chaotic? This is not how this was supposed to go. That overflows, that's gonna be a problem. The thing is with pasta, I always just put in a little bit and it ends up like being enough to feed the whole street. Pasta's in, that's on. Also, I said we was having garlic bread, but not just any garlic bread. I've treated myself to M&S garlic bread. My hair's on it. This is the best garlic bread ever. I don't know what it is, but it's just extra garlicky. I thought we'd probably eat the whole thing. Wow, look guys, you can see all of the garlic butter just pouring out over the top. Why does that oven sound like it's on fire? I really am scared of the fact that it's an electric oven. But yeah, I'm gonna keep doing this. Now I'm gonna actually finish off the sauce while that's being done. We're just gonna have to try and ignore if any steam comes from there. But now we've got the sauce. It's not as hot as it was, but all the cheese is melted. It's quite stringy. And then we add in the chili and the garlic into here. You can add in as much as you want. I add loads of garlic. Give it a stir. And then it depends what I'm feeling on the day for the chili, but I have made it too hot before where, to the point where it's like not as enjoyable as it normally is. So I'm gonna try and not do that today. I'm just adding a little bit. But the chili just, I feel like it's the chili that makes it better than, the chili just topped it off like a little bit of spice in my mac and cheese. It's unreal. That's pretty much it for the sauce. I'm just gonna leave it on the heat now. Orangey a little bit. So when I do my little videos on Instagram where I open up the mac and cheese and you can see all the orange bits inside, it's the chilli. Yay, my pasta is done. So that one will go off. To be fair, it was done really fast. It did only take about 10 minutes, but I'm gonna drain it out now into this. And I'm basically just gonna pour all that pasta into this cheese sauce mix. Do you wanna watch me fail at this and watch it just drop everywhere? Nope. Oh yeah. Oh my God, I'm a pro. That was easy. I feel like I've not made as much pasta as I normally do though, because usually it's like overflowing. Oh at the top, give it all a mix. Make sure every single piece is drowned in the sauce. Then we don't need to leave that on there because it's already hot. I'm literally just gonna transfer it all now into here. And then that goes into there. Okay, I feel like I've made too much sauce for the amount of pasta that I've got. I've got like a glass bowl version as well, but because I've done too much, I'm just gonna pour the leftovers into there. That's probably the first time ever that I've actually made like the right amount of pasta. Usually it's overflowing. We go back to our cheese. And just sprinkle it all over the top because obviously we've not added enough cheese already. We're gonna do this and then we're just gonna grill it. And that gets a bit crispy on top. I'm not bothered about it being crispy, but for the sake of this video, I'll make it crispy. The only reason I ever really do it crispy 
is because Oak likes it crispy. There we go, so I'm gonna put the grill on. It's always a task knowing which button does what in this grill. It takes about five minutes, if that. So we just leave it in there and then I will show you when it's done. And that is it. That is how easy the mac and cheese is. And the mac and cheese is done. You ready for the masterpiece? I really need to get some actual oven gloves because this is a bit risky. Oh yeah. I'll give you a close up now so you can hear it and see it. But it's the sound that just makes it the best. You can still see it sizzling as well. I mean, I literally can't wait to eat it. I'm starving. The garlic bread's done too. What good timing that was from me. Gotta get that Instagram story of Slash has to go on for this as well. This is like my signature dish. This needs to look good. Smashed it. This one's like a lot creamier than normal because I didn't do as much pasta as I normally do. I'm gonna give myself a big portion. You know what? I've spent my time making this. I'm actually gonna eat all that though. Some garlic bread. Guys, you're not actually ready to see this. It makes me emotional because it just looks so good. Ta -da. So obviously that's the bit where it was grilled. And we've got all this. The M&S garlic bread. I need to get a plate for it, but... Yummy, I'm literally so excited to eat this. Well, I already know it's gonna be good. I've made this that many times. Mm, 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 mm. Gosh, you actually need to try this. It's gonna be your new favorite food ever. I'm gonna go and eat this now. Before it gets cold, eat my garlic bread. That really is how simple it is. This drink, it's from Aldi. I always get Aldi a little confused with Aldi. It's basically like Lilt, but it's six cans for £1.29. Love that. But I'm gonna go and eat my dinner now, but yeah, I'm gonna end this video here. That is how. I make my mac and cheese. All of you that have been wondering, that is how easy it is. So let me know if you make it. Let me know what you think. It is literally life changing, not to be dramatic. I would die for this mac and cheese. But yeah, I'm gonna go and eat this now. A very random video, but let me know if you want any more cook with me's because I actually really enjoyed doing this. I'm definitely not a chef. So the next thing we make might burn. I mean, you saw that I got this wrong anyway, even though I've made it a million times. So there's literally no hope for anything else. But if you wanna see that, let me know. But I'm gonna go and eat my dinner. So I'm gonna end this video here. So thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, Give it a big thumbs up, but don't forget to subscribe down below for more, and I'll see you very soon with a brand new video.